Okay, um, what I'd like to do here is show you um, how to solve this equation when you, have two when you have two logarithms on one side. So the first thing we want to do is con bring these two logarithms together. So the one way we learned previously is use the property logs to condense them. So what I'm going to do is since I have a logarithm plus another logarithm, I can rewrite that as one logarithm multiplying what we're evaluating. So it's x times x minus 2 equals 1. Then from here, um, to get rid of my ln, I can transfer this to exponential form. This is logarithmic form. I can transfer now to exponential form, which will give me e to the first power equals, and let's uh, distribute this, x squared minus 2x. All right? Um, then I look at this and I see an x squared. So therefore, I know I'm going to have to do either factoring, completing the square, or the quadratic formula. All right, so I have a couple options I could use. And uh, for this one, I know factoring is not going to work because I have to figure out two numbers that are going to multiply to give me e to the first power, which should be e. Well, since e is an irrational number, that's going to be impossible, right? So therefore, I'm going to have to either use completing the square or quadratic formula. So for this example, I'll use a quadratic formula. So the first thing I need to do is I need to put it in a quadratic form. So let's subtract e. And I get 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus e. Remember, quadratic formula is opposite of b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. So I need to determine what is my b, what is my a, and what is my c. Well, remember, you have 0 equals ax squared minus 2 minus plus bx plus c. Okay? So therefore, a is going to equal 1, because there's a 1 in front there. Negative 2 is going to be my b, and a, ne and a uh, negative e will be my c. Rosa, please call the main office. Rosa, please call the main office. Four times a negative two times a negative e all over um, two times a negative two. All right. Um, oh, a is one. All right, a is one. Four times a, which is one. A times c. There you go. Okay. So let's shoot this over. So I get 2 plus or minus. Negative 2 squared is 4. And that's going to give me um, plus 4e all over 2. Okay? Now here what I can do is I can break this apart. And let's, re let's be careful with this. But you can't separate the square root of 4 plus the square root of 4e. However, we can write this like this. Right? We can rewrite it as a multiplication problem. Then I can rewrite it as square root of 4 times square root of 1 plus e. Then that allows me to write that as a 2. So therefore, I really have 2 plus or minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus e all over 2. Well, what we notice is that these are all going to cancel out. And therefore, my final answer is 1 plus the square root of 1 plus e and 1 minus the square root of 1 plus e. And what we notice is when we figure out this answer, it's going to be um, a negative, negative number. And since we're taking our value, subtracting 2, that's going to even make it more negative. Therefore, we can't evaluate it. So this answer is not a solution. Um, so therefore, x equals 1 plus the square root, uh, positive square root of 1 plus e is our only solution. There we go.